Today I'd like to show you why I like to take pictures in RAW format. This is not something that every camera can do. You need to get a digital manual camera that has the RAW capability. Just look it up in the packaging or online and it'll let you know if it has RAW formatting or not. After you take your picture, um, usually the software that comes with the camera can edit these raw images because not every photo editing software is capable of opening this type of file. What I'm showing you today is how I can manipulate the raw file in Photoshop. I'm using CS2 right now and actually CS3 has a lot more capabilities and I'll show you that later in another tutorial. Today I just want to show you the basics of what you can do. So I have this image. Oops. Let me shrink this down. And as you can see, the image is a little bit yellowish. It's because this was taken in my kitchen and I have fluorescent lighting in there. So if you look here on the right, it shows the information that is currently available to me. I have the adjustment tab here and in the white balance is showing me as what it is when I shot the picture you can go in here and select presets that's available to you and if you look at the presets here and if you look at your camera it looks very very familiar if you are good with changing your camera settings you will see that when you look it up in the menu you'll be able to change your camera according to what kind of lighting you are at that time of the photo shoot you'll see that there's a daylight option, a cloudy option, shade, tungsten, and so forth. If you take a picture and you see some an image or a lighting that looks similar to this, you can go into the options here and let's change it to tungsten. Now this looks kind of more like what my kitchen looks like in natural lighting, but um, it's not quite. And if I select fluorescent, it's really too yellow. Now look here where it says temperature. When I change the settings here, you can see the temperature moving to the right and under fluorescent it's moving to the left. You can also see as it moves to the left, it's less and less yellow. So you can select preset settings here or you can manually change the temperature and you can see how it changes here. So from the original image, I can change the temperature. Let's say that's where I want to be. You can also adjust the tint and see how it's now a little greener or a lot greener there. Until I get it to where I think looks pretty um, correct. You can also change the exposure. Maybe you took a picture that's a little too dark or a picture that's really light. Or maybe you just want to give your picture some sort of effect. You can do that here. You can change the shadow. See how shadow and exposure does to the picture. Change the brightness. contrast and also the saturation. When you're moving all these buttons around, you want to also look up here. This is just, just not there for decoration. You want to have something that's even, not way to the right or way to the left. And this kind of helps you. It's sometimes you just need to look and you know you know when an image is right but the graphic image on the top can help you with your adjustments when you're done just click save and it will ask you how you want to save your file let's just do that really quick here's the document name and this is what it's going to show and here's the extension what I usually do, and this is just a personal thing, I like to add an extension at the end or another initial at the end of the original document name so that I know this is a file that I've 
adjusted in Photoshop. Change the file extension. We have all sorts of different formats. And just click Save. You can also change the quality here. It's set to 8 or high. And you can go to low, medium, or maximum. And just click Save. Why do I want to edit in RAW instead of just going to Photoshop and do manual editing? Well, as you can see, editing in RAW format gives you more flexibility, gives you more options on to make your picture look more original or give it more effect than what you can do without having this RAW capability. Go ahead and try it out. Take a picture in RAW format and um, also take a picture in JPEG. Many times in the digital camera option, you can take a RAW file and an image file also. So for the same image, you'll get two types of file format. Play with both of them and see what you'll get. I'm almost 100% sure that you'll probably be wanting to take most, most of your pictures in RAW formatting. Thanks for watching.